Hello everybody! Welcome to Get Her Done! Got all kinds of stuff going on today. I, uh, it's the first of July. Took Gus out for a walk today and I get back and see the neighbor out so I take Gus off the leash and he runs over and sees Bernadette, uh, our neighbor, and she goes, I said, what's going on? She goes, oh, our air conditioner's down. I says, really? Why don't you call me? She said, we did three times. I said, really? So I was like, okay. So I went and looked at their air conditioner and the capacitor was out. It needed a, uh, another capacitor. So I went up to the shop and got a capacitor and put it on. Uh, good neighbors. So on my way back down from getting the capacitor, I went by this pile of stuff that guy was hauling out there and I found this for free. This little guy right here. Die girl, whatever you want to call it nowadays. Can't discriminate. A little four-wheeler. Looks to be maybe, I don't know, Honda 50, Honda 70. Hard to tell. I'll know once I get some of this plastic off it. And there's a bunch of junk there on the on the pedals and stuff. Looks like to be an automatic. Now I had a Honda 70 automatic and that's what the side case is. This right here. This thing here with the little bolt. When you adjust this, you when you adjust this, you uh, loosen this outside bolt and you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise till the tension starts to get a little bit hard and then you tighten it up. I think that's how it goes. I adjusted mine a few times when I had it, but yeah, for free. I talked to Chris. I says, well, when we get done here, I ain't going to need your assistance. <laughs> I fixed your air conditioner. Can you give me a hand? Perfect timing. So we load, put it on my tailgate, brought it down here, got it in the garage. I shut my tailgate and I went to close my uh, topper back glass and one of the brackets was broken pulled out of the rivets you know rivet uh, like you know rivet gun rivet so I drilled all the old ones out and went back in there and put new rivets in it popped them off brought my tools in here set them down went back out picked up some little bits I had the, the when you break them off the little th little nails brought those in here and threw them in I save all my old screws and stuff and I put them in the, uh, this little snapper bottle when I throw it out later when it's cold instead of going through somebody's tire so I got that all done and I went to shut the gl back glass to my topper it would not shut right on the side I looked at here I put the bracket in backwards <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> so I'll redrill out the rivets I just put in. Uh, had a few words, four letter words to say to that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so later on today, I'm going to be thawing out my freezer. Uh, I'll probably do a little video on that. Uh, back trays get so full of frost, you can heat them up. I got a uh, heat gun. Heat them up so much, but then you can't get ice. There's a tube that goes down the back of the refrigerator, and then the pan where the water runs into the to the drain tube, and that goes down to the pan that sits on top of the compressor, which evaporates it. Well, that little tube in the pan is frozen, and I can't get it down far enough to thaw it. So I got I'm going to take everything out of the refrigerator. Roll it out here over the floor drain where I'm standing. And uh, open up the garage door, put a fan on it. Probably three or four hours that thing will be drained completely down. And then I'll flush it with some hot water that I throw into a glass in the microwave. I'll bring it down here. I'll dump some hot water down it, clear it out, push it back, plug it in. <laughs> start And start letting it cool down again. So I've got some things to do this weekend. Uh, so this uh, kind of little, that's pretty cool, that little green machine there. So 
We'll have to see. It's probably made in China. I don't know the name of it. There's nothing left. The guy was there and he says the uh, valve that shuts the gas off in the bottom of the tank broke off. And he says it was running until then and then we just stopped using it. Well, gas cap is missing off the tank, so hopefully, I don't know. It's got some leaves and stuff, so how much? Hopefully, a bunch of water didn't go down in it, into it, into the carburetor, and down into the cylinder. So uh, that's probably not a good thing if that's what happened. So we'll, we'll get to that part when we get to it. But yeah, it's a good find. Kind of a frustrating day so far, but I'll live. All right. So back to it. We're gonna probably hit the refrigerator next. Get that done get everything hauled away and up to the freezer at the office and stuff hauled upstairs to our freezer and um, gonna work on my new uh, Flo bought me a Yeti cooler here it's pretty nice uh, throw everything in the Yeti and uh, throw some uh, I have some frozen water uh, uh, they call it those Snapple bottles these things I've got about six or seven of these things in the freezer, frozen solid. We use those when we go camping. Throw them in the coolers. It helps the ice last a little bit longer. So, All right. Back at it. <laughs> all righty, back. Got the plastics off it. Uh, leaning up against DJ's bike and the seat and the little uh, footrest front cover. And here it is. I have pulled the plug out of it and uh, have it upside the ways that, that uh, WD-40 get down onto the cylinder. The uh, It's an automatic and it's uh, only electric start because right down here is where the, the kick would be and it's blocked off. Um, we'll have to see. This thing will even turn over. Uh, kind of pushed it we drug it here and the engine didn't seem to turn over but this being an automatic I think it would push but I don't know there's not a lever on the other side so mine my Honda 70 had a lever on the other side that I used to kick down and it shift gears there's not one on that side so I'm not sure how this one if that deal there is more of a centrifugal clutch deal or what it is. Uh, I'll have to look more. A little tag fell off it. This is a tag that was on it. That was like rust. It's sitting outside for a while. So we'll see. See what we come up with. Something different. I think if I'm going to move it around, I'm going to have to find the link to the chain and take the chain off it because it's really hard to push around. Plus the tires being flat and all. Those are going to be fun getting seated. <laughs> yes, I hate doing tires, but hey. It's the right price. I like free. <laughs> so, we'll let you know the spark plug. Uh, let me take a look at it. Yeah. Spark plug's not too bad. It's a little black. But, eh. Right price. All right. As soon as I come up with anything more, I'll let you know. All right. Bye. I had a little bit of a good idea here, and I've done this before. I put this up on end because the cylinder, the piston goes up and down this way. So I sprayed the whole bunch of penetrating oil on the top of that one and well, then we'll then we'll see if the the uh, we can get that piston to move so. alrighty refrigerators out left a trail of water <laughs> two for one deal today all right alrighty back here working on the four-wheeler I had removed the carburetor so I was worried about whether there was some stuff in there, bugs or anything, but it's pretty clean. You can see through that. It's pretty clean on the inside. The choke works, and the throttle was free. So 
once we see if this thing will turn over and see if I have compression, then we'll go look at the carburetor. Right but I wanted to get that off so it wouldn't suck anything into the intake. So now we're going to see about hot wiring the starter and see if this thing will turn over. I think it's felt like when I was pushing it, it was turning over, but we'll, we'll see. see what happens. All right, it's turning. All right, let's see if we get some compression. Okay, it feels like compression. Let me uh, get my compression checker and, and we'll try it out. All righty, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I need to get out here in the light. Back it up a little bit. <laughs> uh, I went to put my. Jeez, where am I here? That better? Okay. I. <laughs> it's crazy light. I went to uh, put my compression checker in it. I don't have something this small. This thing is really small. It's probably like three eighths, if even that. <laughs> It's pretty small, so I don't have anything small enough. But I kept my finger over it, and I got some. <laughs> I got some uh, compression popping out of it. So let's see if we can't. Uh, let's pull the bottom of this carburetor off and see what that looks like. And I'll be right back, and we'll, you know, we'll take that off together. All right, we're back, and let's take off the bottom of this bowl, of this carburetor. rock <laughs> okay look at that yeah I'm gonna have to start replacing some lines here all right let's get this bowl off that didn't seem too bad here's a little cleaning clean out I'll have to check that there might want to take that off why we have this in place. I was looking for my crescent wrench. Uh, oh, there it is. Huh, okay, well, that's pretty loose. Probably comes right from the gas tank down to here. Ooh, look at that. Nasty. All kinds of crud in there. And here's a little filter. All right, well, looks like maybe the filter got all the junk. Let's see what the bottom of this looks like. Okay. Save the screws. little chalky and we'll turn this up so you can see it little chalky in the bottom not too bad that's just you know this is aluminum got a little bit of the haze in there this thing has got all the crud on the bottom of it this thing here has got all the crud on it yeah see yeah See if we can't tap that out somewhere in a paper towel. Piece of this off. 
tap all that crap out and see what we got in the bottom there. Oh yeah, that would not be good for the carburetor. Yeah. That would not be good for the carburetor. So the carburetor don't look too bad. Take it apart and clean it, put it back together. <coughs> Everything seems to be working on it. Now there is a possibility because he said something that the shut off kept leaking. So I'm wondering if this thing is leaking or what. I might have to take this I might have to take this thing apart too and give it a good clean. Yeah. But alright. And just save that. Clean this sparingly. All right, so we're doing pretty good on this little project with the four-wheeler. Um, I'm just having a hard time. Okay, it's so dark in here. I can't. I can't tell. So uh, that's where I. So I get the carburetor clean, hook up some lines. Maybe I'll try to hot wire this thing and see if we can't get it to fire up on some ether or something. So that's where I'm heading to next. But. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm going to go get something to eat. All right. I'll be back. All right. We're back. I don't know if I showed you this, but this is the junk that came out of that. Uh, see all that stuff? It's the one that came out of this little cap deal that I cleaned out of junk out of. I, didn't, I tapped it on here, but I didn't know if I showed you or not. Okay. So now we're here. See if we can't get this thing going. Well, the key, I don't have the key for that. Uh, the key is right there. So I had to cut the wire. And you've got a black, a red, a black with a white stripe and a green wire. Sometimes you hook the black and white wire together. Sometimes you, you hook the, I'm sorry, you hook the red and the black wire together. Sometimes you hook the red and the black wire with the stripe. So let's see if I've nailed it or not. Okay, well, I don't know. All right, well, back to the drawing board. Well, here I am back with the four-wheeler. Uh, we've got some pretty crunchy wiring. I have some wiring here. I don't even, it just fell out when I took the front plastics off it. It just fell onto the ground. Don't know where that came from. Some of these wires are really crunchy. I went to grab this and pull it out and I busted all the plastic off here. It just, it just disintegrated and there's the bits and pieces of it right down there. So I'm going to so I'm going to order a um, wiring harness for this. Uh, this this is too much junk that's wrong with this thing. All right, where am I? Here we go. Uh, the wire is all crunching. It's sat outside probably for you know five or six years. And the, and the wiring harness, I think, with all the pieces, it's the, uh, the CID box, or CDI box, uh, the coil, the regulator, uh, and all the wiring, and, and a key switch. And it actually has the little deal that goes up there by the hand grips for the, for the brake. Uh, that's all new too, but you'll see that. So I'm going to order that, and then that'll be the next video. I'm going to try to keep this one short. So, till then, be nice to your neighbor, and uh, there'll be a part two out there of me pulling my hair out, trying to put this all back together. <laughs> all right. See you. Bye.